Each week, American History TV's Real America brings you archival films that provide context for today's public affairs issues. Governor Reagan's accomplishments in California were the kinds of things people all over the country ask him to come talk about. And then, the inevitable happened. Wherever he went, all over the country, people ask him where he stood on the national issues. This is where he stands. Not too many days ago, our country was on fire because an assassin's bullet took one man's life. Whatever you may think of Martin Luther King, whether you approved or disapproved, I think something of America was killed also. And I think the murder of that man and the death of America began with the first acceptance of compromise with the law, tolerance of those who would apply the law unequally because of race or religion, and acceptance of those who advocate breaking those laws with which they are in disagreement. And it includes those in government unless and until they have the courage to say that the law will be enforced equally to all and at all times with no exceptions. I've learned how our economy is not extended, its bounty to all of our citizens. I've listened to their hopes and their hopelessness, and I've heard their plea. And curiously enough, it's not for more welfare. It's for jobs. And it's for good schooling and discipline in the schools their children attend, not busing across town to some other school. And I have to ask myself why. Why in all these recent years have we as Republicans let this whole humanitarian field be preempted by the opposition when their record in the entire field of welfare, in their entire field of human relations, is one of colossal and almost complete failure. <laughs> Their whole big government approach has institutionalized poverty, perpetuating its degradation until welfare becomes a way of life under the second and third generation of the recipient families. They have tried this raising of people by mass movements, well, our philosophy is based on a belief in the individual, in his freedom and in his rights. And in this area of human relations, we're dealing with individuals, each one of these people unique, each one crying out in his soul for his rightful heritage of dignity and the right to shape his own destiny. But we have a chance to prove as Republicans, to prove that we're more than just negative critics. We have a chance to prove that ours, Ours is the wave of the future. Let's tell them that we will employ whatever measures are necessary to start saving human beings, but we're going to stop destroying them. Now, 